previously on chatting with Dr. Steve-O. I, I escaped from the laboratory, so now I'm just me. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, you want yeah. a job? Yeah. Can you be a minion? Uh, no, sorry, I'm already Dr. Holocaust minion. <laughs> Dr. Holocaust. Yeah. I've heard of him. <laughs> Where is he? Uh, he, he's around in Toronto doing Philip things. He's not here. Not here, no. Unfortunately. Toronto Holocaust. You've denied me a few times for an interview. <laughs> I want to get into the League of Evil. Dr. Zoltar Mulvray, he's accepted my friendship, but you, not so much. Are you afraid of my superior brain power? I now have a captive. <laughs> I'm here with Dr. Holocaust, the supervillain of Toronto. That's right, yes, I've, uh, I've claimed the downtown Toronto area as my personal territory. Now, the name Holocaust, Yes. does that offend um, a certain group of people? Yes. Uh, well, see, th how I ended up coming to the name originally was when I decided uh, about four, four and a half years ago to become a supervillain. I was looking for what would be a good name to attach to, you know, a, a persona like this. And a lot of the good names were already taken, like Dr. Uh, Doctor Destruction, uh, Dr. Doom, uh, Mr. Sinister, which is a really great name. It's, it's all been bought up, so I wasn't necessarily sure what to do. I was looking in the thesaurus for Destruction and Holocaust came up. Holocaust being defined as the destruction of a large group of people at the hands of other people. And I thought, you know what, that really resonates with what I'm trying to do here, so why not? Um, and uh, immediately, out of the gate, I started getting harassed by the Jewish community, and I can understand like why they're upset, but it seems strange to me when someone walks up to a supervillain and tells them that their name is too evil. Like, I, I get that all the time. I'm sure your name is too evil, really. Right. Just, when does that start to make sense? Yeah, I know. It's like, we're super villains. We can get rid of you. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, that's quite the cool glove you've got there. Oh, thank you, yes. These are the Mark III power gloves. Um, I've managed to get the 8,000 volt lightning shots up to about 10 meters now. Um, so that's pretty decent. And uh, along with the shockwave emission, I've also implied this uh, this fancy new feature where it produces an ion field. Uh, so I can use that for like impromptu shielding because I've been shot at a lot recently. Uh, and I kind of want to make that a thing. <laughs> I saw your video um, posted on YouTube where you were in battle armor shooting at everybody. Yes. Uh, uh, I brought an invention of mine called the Mechanolith, which is uh, a mechanical suit of armor that I'd uh, okay. that I'd invented, to a mad science fair at the Canadian National Steampunk Exib Exhibition. And not only did I lose, but then in the moment where I lost, uh, Professor Skull showed up and wrecked the party with something like 800 of these freak test subjects. Uh, I managed to mow through some of them. He grabbed a hold of Dr. Forge's weather machine and rewired it to take down some of the, uh, the defenses I had. Uh, it was just a fiasco. I managed to, through sacrificing the suit, I managed to just like just break even, killing off the last of his ridiculous monstrosities. Um, you know what? You shoot like a stormtrooper. Yeah, I yeah. No, yeah. it was terrible. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. The uh, that's why the targeting systems it. hadn't been calibrated properly. The suit was falling apart at that point. I was just really trying to keep them at arm's length. Uh, you mess. Get minions to do that for me. Not yeah. depends on evil genius, really. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, I do like having minions sort of take care of the heavy lifting when it comes to stuff like that, but there's always a certain kind of satisfaction that comes from doing it yourself. Sure, sure, sure. I guess. You know, I just like to see my plans unfold. Yeah. Anyways, um, I do happen to have a um, employee of yours. Yes. My, um, I was pair. informed that you had uh, taken into hostage one of my primary test subjects. 
Um, yeah, I really wanted to meet you. It's the only way I could arrange this, really. That's just fair. I mean, that's reasonable. Can I have it back, though? I need her for running a new test. I've got an ion cannon, and I want to know what the effects of the ion cannon are on people. Um, so I would need her back. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. She, she's a lot of high maintenance anyways. <laughs> okay, yeah. She requires um, a lot of feeding and stuff. I just... Food. Humans, right? Huh. Yeah. I know. Anyways, thank you very much. You're very welcome. All right. Oh! Duh. Sorry, sorry. No, I gotta, gotta turn those down. Um, Here, let's just go with the evil laugh. Okay, oh, evil, evil laugh. laugh. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that is good. That's good, yeah.